As drones become increasingly advanced, their density in urban areas is expected to be quite high. If we're to leverage the benefits and applications of this technology in our towns and cities, we need to guarantee the safety and security of the general public. But that's not all. We must also ensure respect for privacy, mitigate the impacts of drone noise, and avoid any damage to the environment. To meet the many challenges of integrating drones into our airspace alongside conventional aviation, researchers have been working on a Europe-wide roadmap for drone air traffic management. This reference manual for drone aviation is a document called the U-Space Concept of Operations, or CONOPS. The German Aerospace Centre DLR was responsible for implementing the system, which has a wide range of goals. It's designed to allow operators to request optimised trajectories that do not conflict with other aviation. The prototype shares with all airspace users the positions of traffic, along with any warnings or relevant information. Furthermore, it monitors that drones are executing their flight plans as anticipated. If an unexpected event poses a hazard for air traffic, it automatically sends instructions to the pilots for new trajectories to avoid the risk of collisions or to yield to higher priority traffic. It features geo-awareness, meaning that users receive timely information of static and dynamic geo-fences, which are areas that they must avoid. And the system includes geo-caging, which allows operators to establish boundaries. In other words, to reserve airspace volumes where no other traffic is allowed to enter. With geofences and geocages, warnings and contingency procedures are triggered if drones cross the borders of a reserved airspace. The University Carlos III of Madrid was responsible for developing the Path Planner service, which produces a 4D, conflict-free, optimised trajectory for strategic and tactical deconfliction. It features a smart link switcher that automatically changes the type of link to allow the drone to remain in contact with the UTM and the ground control station. The system was tested with end users who were interested in utilising drones to assist in daily tasks. We are participating in this uh, project, a labyrinth related to the use of drones in emergency medicine. In particular, uh, the use of drones in emergency medicine is highly applicable uh, to deliver, uh, to make a rapid delivery of um, medical equipment, uh, medical supplies, even medicines, uh, to be self-administrated by patient or by a by standard, non-medical by standard, until the emer professional emergency medical services arrives on the scene. It's an opportunity to save a life. And my part of the project is building the speed estimator. They wanted a way to detect the, all of the cars and have them controlled via the camera and then get their feedback of what their speed should be or what the speed is, just to make sure that they are, if they are going up above the limit in the zone. This project started three years ago, it's about to end now, and uh, the need was to test, to implement the use space concept because it's a very recently uh, conops. Uh, and you can find several projects in Europe trying to implement it and that uh, the experience of implementing and testing it in real use cases will allow us to discover gaps, weaknesses and suggest improvements in the document. In the Labyrinth project we were able to test the feasibility of a system capable of maintaining the separation of drones that operate automatically beyond visual line of sight. This allows for the safe use of swarms of drones, even by different operators, to aid in tasks like surveillance, search and rescue, and medical assistance.